if, 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 it ain't, if it ain't biblical based, I, I, I said, okay, I hear what you're saying, but I ain't going to retain none of it because it's not biblical based. Mm -hmm. Because you got to be careful with certain philosophy, even in the area of school, even in the area of college. It's, it's good to learn. You should learn it and be a lifelong learner. I'm a lifelong learner. Be a lifelong learner. But at the same time, be careful of the philosophy. Mm -hmm. Because people have you questioning God. My God. Mm -hmm. They have you If you're not careful. I mean, I mean, I mean, if, if, if God's supposed to be so great, I mean, why, why he allow babies to die? They, they always gonna have a good question. Let me tell you something. They always gonna have a good question, and they will try to trip you up. They, they get into Jesus. They try to trip him up. And when they try to trip him up, Jesus, boy, I like what Jesus answer. If you wanna know how Jesus be, read, read the read your word. See how if you how do I answer these any questions, Pastor? I'm so glad you asked me how Jesus will answer. When they were talking about the Sabbath day, Jesus hit on the Sabbath day, they just said, okay, all right, I, I, see, I see you want to throw one at me. Well, if your ox or ass fell in the ditch, would you not get him out on the Sabbath day? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Then that shut him right on up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to give him the truth. Yeah. Because they always will try to find some trick or some way to, to trip you or, or trap you. Why? Because the world, it, it, it don't stop. It's relentless at getting you to conform to it. Yes. It don't stop. It don't take a break. Amen. When it, you, you know, you know how even in the, in the realm of entertainment, you, you know when one show go off, boy, they got a whole nother one lined up for you. And when that one go off, they'll throw a few on Netflix. Amen. Just to keep you buried. Amen. In entertainment. That's right. And away from the word of God. That's right. So now you just you just a nine hour watching wow. TV. Yeah. And if I ask you to read your Bible, well, I mean, yeah. I will. I, 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 I do. <laughs> Did you read nine hours of the word? But we will show be captured yes. by the things we like. Yes, How do I fall more in love with Jesus? I'm so glad you are. Ah. Let me finish reading this text and it's going to help you. It said, but not in the council of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scoffers. Mm -hmm. But his delight, his love, is in the law of the Lord. Law means instruction in the law of the Lord. And on his law, on his instructions, he meditates what? Day and night. That means continuously. Yeah. And he shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields fruit in his season. And his leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he does, he shall prosper. Yes. Not walking in the counsel of godly. Amen. That is one of the fastest ways to miss your blessing. Hmm. Walking in the counsel of God. Of the ungodly. Amen. That is a sure way of missing what God has Amen. for you. But we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. It's, it's amazing we we'll re renew subscriptions. What we do, we'll renew Hulu. We'll renew, amen, computers. I don't got a computer. It, it, no, it needs to be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. It definitely needs to be renewed. Amen. It's running slow. Amen. But I don't want to pay for it to get renewed. Amen, somebody. But I know it needs to be renewed. And sometimes we don't want to pay the price of being renewed. And you know what the price is? More meditation on God's word. Right. More prayer. Yes. More acts, amen, of kindness. More being like the Christ that you ought to be. Amen. That's how you get more renewed. That's how you get rejuvenated. Yes. That's how you get empowered. But sometimes we don't want we don't want the things of the spirit to be renewed. Yes. We just like in the natural. Yes. Amen. You, you know you gotta renew that policy. And you 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 drag your feet on it. Child, who is insurance going on? I don't know what we're going to do. What we're going to do, we're going to ask God to give us some more money because he knows everything going up. Lord, you see what's going on in my house. You see what these bills look like, Lord. You know what I'm working with. You know my limitations. But I look unto the hills from which come my help. Come my help come from the Lord. I ain't going to ask God to bring the bill down. Lord, bring my head come up. Yes. Why are we going to ask him to bring it down when we can easily ask him to take it up? Yes. Hey, man, when the last time bread was 10 cents? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. See? See? Even though we still go to the bread store, I think it's 99 cents a dollar, whatever. But when the last time it's been 10 cents, that ought to change something. Transformation is not an instantaneous act. Let me say it. Transformation is, is not something that, that we, you know, we just put it in the microwave four minutes and bing! Transformation comes. Ooh, I know 50 Bible verses. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Amen. It doesn't work that way. It's time. It's gradual. Yes. It's gradual. And we have to teach one another gradually. Amen, somebody. We have to talk to one another. And this is how we build each other up. Amen. There's so many resources in this sanctuary. It, it, it ain't even funny. Amen. You have more knowledge than you think you have. Amen. Some of us, oh, I ain't been to college. You don't need to go to college to have knowledge. Amen. And you don't have to have every experience in the world to have knowledge. Because sometimes I look at 
experience, amen, is equivalent to exposure. Yes. Amen. Before I got married, I didn't have no marital experience. All I watched was my mom and dad. I watched them model marriage to the best of their ability. I didn't have no experience, even though I watched them. But exposure to degree was equivalent to the experience. Why? Because I watched them. I saw how it was done. Amen. I took the good and bad. Amen. Whatever was bad, you make living to the live. You make living whatever good. Come on, somebody. And that's what you do. That's so sometimes right. people tell you you don't have the experience, but you say, I mean, I had the experience, but I so got the exposure because I show you can't tell me what I didn't see. That's right. How do you think you get all that knowledge? That's right. Because you've been exposed. It's just like you see the, the, the people that have that, been on crystal meth for a long time, and you see they're losing their teeth, they age aging fast. You ain't never did crystal meth in your life. You ain't never had a needle in your arm. But you have seen tape after tape after tape after, come on somebody, after assessment after assessment. So you don't have to go put a needle in your arm to know that this thing would deteriorate the body. Yes. Come on somebody. Yes. You don't have to take rat poison to know that it'll kill. Yes. That skull on the side told you. Oh, you got to have experience. No, I've been exposed to some stuff. My soul is, that's what they used to say. My soul is a witness. Because I done seen it. I done seen how this thing play out. I done seen how it should be. A Christian does not become a Christian when they bear the fruit of a Christian. Rather, they are shown to be a true Christian when they bear the, the such fruit. Galatians 2, 20. And I promise we're coming in on this. We're coming in. Y'all know I close 10 times. We're coming in. Blessed to him, but this is good to be sexual with God. I have been crucified with Christ, yes. and I no longer live, but the Christ, Christ. lives in me. Mm -hmm. The life I now live in the body, yes. I live by faith. I live by faith. Don't look at what you see. Yeah. Look at what you don't see. Yes. Amen. I always tell my daughter, Amen. She want to go to school to, to be an attorney. I sometimes like I call her, you know, an attorney. I call her that. Jada, hey man, I call her Dr. Rockwood sometimes. Yo, Dr. Rock. She, 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 she don't, after she go to school and, and get the get the what we call the pen skin or the paperwork, hey man, that's just recognition. But she became a doctor. Come on, somebody. When day one, when she first set her foot on the journey. Yes. Not when she first cut yes. on somebody. Yes. <laughs> it starts from the beginning. You yes. become what you become as you continuously do it. When you get the paper, that's just recognition. Yes. But it was already in you. Yes, That's why, come on, that's why some of my kids, they're so smart, they're so advanced, amen, they ain't never went to nobody's school. You're like, man, mm -hmm. where did he get all this sense from? God. Mm -hmm. He put it in you. He put it in you. But all that comes from trust, trust me. But I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I that live, but the Christ that lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith, in the Son of God, who loved me and did what gave himself for me. So transformation, it takes it is gradual. It don't just happen instantaneously. It don't just happen because you come to the altar. It don't just happen because we lay hands on you at one time. And it can't happen that way. But it happens over time. Because just because you get prayed for, and just because you get alleviated from one thing, but there is 99 more things waiting on you. That's why we do this day by day. We, we do this day by day. Sanctification is ongoing. It's not one time. Glorification, that, that's going to be at the end time, amen, when, when, when everything comes to a uh, full effect. But sanctification is an ongoing process. Yes, Just because you done got over one hurdle, don't wait the victory flag so early. <laughs> don't wait so early. Just because you, you dodged one situation, don't wait so early. That's what the Bible teaches us to walk what circumspectly. Not as fools, but wise. Redeem the time because the, the days are what evil. Amen. I pray you was blessed today. That's all I have. Amen. We'll be with you with part two of shift. Amen. But transformation says yes. God. Be transformed. Yes. By the renewing of your mind. Yes. It's a challenge. Because we have things that come at us every day. We can't be with our kids. We can't be with our spouses every day. Yes. Some of the stuff they go through in the office is mind boggling. Amen. Some of the stuff. That's why we thank God you can't work with your spouse. Amen. Some places. Because some, some of the people, where they, be, they be trying to talk to your spouse and talk to your kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all probably, they probably won't have a job no more. But you said that's the last time you're going to talk to my wife like that when I'm scared. Amen. I guarantee you be picking yourself up off the floor. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Because we, we love our children. We love our people. And even us. We don't want to let nobody see them harming our brother or sister. And I'm, and I'm watching. No. Amen. I want 
wish you would. Amen, somebody. We ought to be partaking of one another. That's what we are. We are part of the body of Christ. We are part of His body. Yes. Amen. The Bible calls us peculiar, royal yes. priests. Oh, yes. You are somebody in the kingdom of God. Chosen. You don't have to quote fifty Bible verses. Oh. Amen. You love God. Let us stand. Amen. Let us stand. Amen. Amen. I pray that you are blessed today.